Today, we've traveled halfway across the country with ABS Master Smith Jay Nielsen. America is home to some of the world's top bladesmiths, and the forge I chose is where thousands have gotten their start. We're heading to the world-renowned Bill Moran School of Bladesmithing, located in Texarkana, Texas. Home of the oldest bladesmithing school in the world, Bill Moran is a legend. He not only founded the school and the American Bladesmith Society, but he also revived the lost art of Damascus. Now, their top smiths will compete to represent this shop and me for their chance at becoming a Fortune and Fire champion. Now guys, congratulations on making it through the first round. It means the two of you are still in this tournament and in the running for $20,000 going to yourselves and an extra $10,000 that could be coming back here to the Bill Moran School of Bladesmithing. Now, as you probably noticed, this competition has been all about the ABS theme. And we figured we'd keep that going into this next round where we're sending you back to your home forges to build this. ABS Master Smith's Quillian Dagger. <laughs> but guys, you're so talented, we figured, why not supersize this a little bit and have you build a short sword version of the dagger? So good luck, gentlemen. We'll see you back at our forge in four days. Right, good, good luck, luck man. man. We're at my home forge right now. We're in Plano, Texas. I gotta bring a win home for the Lone Star State. <laughs> Let's get rocking and rolling. Everything looks to be going pretty solid. Time to get my blade looking like a knife. Hell yeah. That's looking good. So I couldn't be more pleased with how today went. Got a sore, man. Yesterday on day three, got my blade heat treated. I just gotta get everything fit up and start shaping my handle material. That could be the best flute. I myself am a perfectionist, especially with my craft and what I do with my work. I'm real OCD and I like to nitpick my stuff and just make it as good as I can make it when fitting up a handle. The whole build was super challenging, but I'm grateful to be a part of this competition, and I'm super proud to represent the Bill Moran School of Blazemithing. Holy f guys. Ha! Ah, I got that done. I got that done. That looks so freaking cool. Badass. It's the morning of day one. I'm ready to get started on this Quillian short sword. <laughs> got a good squish on it. It's looking pretty good to me so far. So I have enough material to work the tang and work my tip, and it came out phenomenal. So far, so good. I hope that this quench works out. If this thing ends up cracking, I'm out of the competition. OK. This blade's quenched. I'm happy about that. And oh my goodness, it's hard. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Both my guard and my pommel, they are made out of mild steel. And that will, there you go. The weapon is put together, peened on, looks good. So I get to play with it a little bit. <laughs> I think we'll definitely cut. All right, gentlemen, the time has come. We've got to find out which one of you is moving forward in the next leg of the tournament, staying in contention for that $20,000 check for yourselves an additional $10,000 that could go back to Don and the Bill Moran School of Bladesmithing. And to do that, we've got to put your blades through a series of tests. And for those tests, I'm going to hand you over to Jay. Well, bladesmiths, your big boy versions of the Master Smith Quillian Dagger look really nice. But looking good is one thing. Functionality is more important. So I'm going to take both of your short swords and do a series of thrusts and chops on this ballistics dummy rig. Chris, you're up first. You ready to go? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Just kick the <laughs> shoot. Who needs a sword?
All right, Chris, nice job. Very well balanced with the fluting you have on this handle. It was a good grip. Shield wanted to put up a bit of a fight, but we made it through. Uh, the only thing I have to say negative is the alignment, because I'm holding the handle vertically, and you can see how that blade curves off to one side. But all in all, everything's sharp, everything's tight. Nice job. Thank you. All right, Jake, you ready to go? I'm ready. All right, Jake, nice job. Everything's still in alignment. Nothing wrong with the edge, nothing chipped out or anything. Everything's tight. I like the counterbalance you put in here with the wrought iron. The fluting on here give me a good grip. So overall, very nice job. Thanks, sir. All right, Bladesmiths, now we know your blades are functional. Next, we're gonna see how strong they are and how well they hold up in our strength test. Chris, you're up first again. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. All right, Chris, real nice. Good grip, able to hold on, no problem. You do have some glinting, so you can hear that. Yes, sir. That's the worst one right there. So you do have some edge damage, but obviously it was still sharp enough to cut through those bags. Um, again, that blade being kicked off throws off the thrusting. Overall, though, nice job. Thank you. Jake, ready again? Let's do it. All right, Jake, nice job. Cut deeply into the steel. There's some glinting. It's got a little bit of a roll. Aside from that, everything's still straight. Good job. Thank you. Well, gentlemen, this is it. We started this competition back in Texarkana with you guys putting together Damascus blades, and you went above and beyond. But only one of you can come out on top of the Texarkana leg of this tournament and move forward into the final leg, fighting against three other Smiths who we pick up across America. And the winner of this leg, who will be representing the Bill Moran School of Bladesmithing and Jay Nielsen is... Jay, congratulations. Now, Chris, unfortunately, your blade did not make the cut. I'm gonna have to ask you to please step off the forge floor. Thanks, man. All in all, I was happy with how my blade performed. I completely agree with his decision to vote me off. Jake, congratulations. That makes you the winner of the Texarkana leg of this tournament. You're moving forward into the final leg, still fighting for that $20,000 to go in your pocket and $10,000 in gears and supplies to go back to Don and the Bill Moran School of Bladesmithing. I don't even know how to feel. This is so cool. It was anyone's game. It was such a close fight from the beginning at Texarkana to here. Chris has been an awesome competitor, but I took home the victory today and I don't even know what to do. I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Very, very well it was done. It a pleasure, man.
I'll be representing the Bill Moran School of Bladesmithing in the next leg of this challenge, and I'm super excited, so let's get after it.